Ouch! Barak Aluhuvik, my dear brother Sufian. I hope you're not hurt. No, Alhamdulillah. May Allah reward you for your help, Sufian. May Allah reward us all. Where is our friend Yasin? You usually come run together. He can't come today. His mother is sick and he's taking care of her. May Allah cure her, Inshallah. I need to go visit her after training to see if she's okay and if he needs any help. Send my salam. I'll see him tonight. Mom, it's time to take your medicine. May Allah reward your efforts, my son. You stayed up for me all night. No matter what I do, it will never compare to everything you did for me. It must be our neighbor coming to see you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wara. Matulahi wa barakatuhu. How are you doing, Sufian? Alhamdulillah. I heard that your mom was sick, so I came to check up on her and stay with you a little bit. May Allah reward you, my dear friend, but I am sorry. I cannot spend time with you today. No, my friend, it's okay. I'll come see you later. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're not angry and accept my apology. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam wara matulahi wa barakatuhu. Who was it, my son? It was my friend, Sufian. I told him I was sorry I couldn't welcome him. I have to take care of you, mom. May Allah bless you, my son. Is this what friendship is? Why did Yasin act like this? He refused to welcome me in his home. What kind of friendship is this? Salam alaikum, father. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah hi wa barakatuhu, my son. What's wrong, Sufian? I can see that you're worried. I wanted to do something good, but I was mistreated instead. How could that happen? I went to visit my friend Yasin to check up on his sick mother and stay with him a little bit. But he refused to welcome me and told me he couldn't spend time with me. This is a right Allah gave to your friend. Why are you angry? What do you mean? Haven't you heard of what Allah said? Believers do not enter other people's houses until you have asked permission to do so and greeted those inside. That is best for you. Perhaps you will bear this in mind. If you find no one in, do not enter unless you have been given permission to do so. If you are told go away, then do so. That is more proper for you. God knows well what you do. What this verse means is that we must ask permission before entering somewhere. And if we are granted permission, we can enter. But if we are turned away, then we should leave. And if there is no one, we should not enter unless we have permission first. And what reasons could someone have to turn guests away? My son, every house deserves its privacy. We cannot ask questions regarding what does not concern us. This is better and purer for us, just like Allah told us. Yes, my dear father, you are right. The Prophet, Salalahu alaihi wasalam, said, Salalahu alaihi wasalam. If any one of you asks permission to enter thrice and permission is not given, then he should return. This means that if you knock at the door or call three times and the person does not respond, then you should leave. And if I leave, I am still rewarded? Yes, my son. The Prophet's companions did not get angry or sad when they weren't given permission. May Allah forgive me. I wronged my brother Yasin. If we knew our religion well, my son, no one would feel any hatred towards anyone else. May Allah reward you, my dear father. I promise I will visit my friend Yasin tomorrow, insha'Allah, and I will not get angry if he turns me away a second time. May Allah bless you, my son.